Hello, this is the PC Expert Amateur here, and here on the last day of 2023, I decided I'm going to do three Akasa fans, and each one is stronger than the fan before them, including this one being stronger than the AeroCool Dead Silence, which was massively stronger than the AeroCool Tur Turbine 3000. Uh, <laughs> so, let's take a look. So, the... Um, comes with this box very military and the reason that it is in that military kind of mode is well number one they used Apache like the Apache uh, helicopters but two it has an IP54 moisture and dust protection cert um, uh, military standard certification it comes with uh, four uh, silicone rubber pins for mounting and um, let's take a look at it. So it's got dark green blades and a medium green uh, brown uh, frame. And it is sleeved with a PWM connector that is also brown. Just a little touch of accessorizing. And yeah, it's um, no LEDs. But that's okay. It is suitable for a case, for a an air cooler, or on the low end for water coolers. If you have a low density radiator, this will be fine on that. But a high density radiator, this is not sufficiently strong. So let's go ahead and listen. false starts come on come on start there we go it must have a start of like 10 volts or something crazy like that and let me try turning it down So I think that's about as slow as I'm going to be able to get it. And at this speed, it is silent. I don't think it's... Uh, okay, a little bit of noise now. And there is what sounds like turbulence, which last time I heard that was, was it an NXT? Here aren't very many fans. So that's maximum. Now keep in mind this is only 1500 RPMs. The airflow is going out a little bit into a cone shape, uh, but it's fairly straight and I can feel the pressure fairly well right about yeah, right about there. So let's go ahead and uh, compare that to the sound of the Noctua A12 by 25. You can hear the Noctua whining away. Higher pitch than the uh, Akasa. And of course at 2000 RPMs it's louder. Not a special bearing compared to this Noctua's SSO2 bearing, which I'm just in love with. I think it's amazing because so far it's the best I've found. Okay, pretty good. Um, and you'll see why in a minute with the data. But first, please help me out. Um, I really want to be able to do useful things for consumers, not just this part one stuff. I want to finish my testing, which I 
I keep on getting more ideas for more tests, and that just is both good and bad. It's good for you guys. It's bad for me because it'll take me even longer to um, test a fan. But that means you'll have more data. I'm going to be creating an airflow uh, direction indicator, I guess you could say, which will be just a very simple device that you know uses uh, paper, or probably paper. I don't know. Paper doesn't have very good memory for going back to its original shape if it gets blown too hard. So probably I will be going with... Um, something a bit st not stiffer but that has a memory so it'll it, it, you know like th some things if you bend them they stay where they're at like metal metal has mem a metal has great memory and then other things if you do uh, if you push it, it when you release it it goes back and that means it has bad memory so like paper tends to have good memory until you bend it like this is already bent and over time, it'll bend more and more and more until finally it's no longer got the original shape, but you can put it back. So it's got good memory, but over time, because it's so thin, it loses some of that. And so I have to find um, something that will work well for that. All right. So, yeah, please like, subscribe, share, help me build this channel so that I can really do a great job for all the consumers. Okay, so the Casa Apache F, uh, sorry, AKFNO057 is the super silent PWM fan. And one of the interesting things about this one is, is it meets the military standard IP54 for moisture and dust protection. I thought that was worthy of mention. It is a brown frame, uh, medium brown, I would say, with a um, dark green blade color and it was eight dollars when i got it it's certified ce and rohs as well as the uh, ip54 so i guess i'll add that in there oh no no china is where it's made 120 by 25 50,000 hours versus the noctua's 150,000 hours two-year warranty versus six-year warranty but i don't think the Noctua has an IP54 rating. 160 grams versus 209 blades, same as the Noctua ANF A12 by 25. 600 to 1300 RPMs versus 450 to 2000 RPMs. 57.53 uh, cubic feet per minute for airflow, and the static pressure is 2.64 millimeters of water. So I'm going upwards and deliberately in terms of static pressure from the prior AeroCool. But please do note that the this is not as strong as the Montec Metal 120 or the um, EverCool that I reviewed that was uh, branded StarTech or the Noctua and FP12 Redux or even the NZXT F120 RGB. But it's stronger than that arrow cool dead silence. Right. So moving on from there. 2.64 versus 2.34. So stronger than the Noctua and FA 12 by 25. Uh, but the airflow is weaker because uh, the Noctua has 102.1. So this is a little bit more than half of that. Um, the max, the um, minimum decibels is 6.9. Maximum is 16.05 and 16.05 sorry and the fans cable is 31 and a half centimeters long you can't daisy chain but it does have a sleeve and it's pwm hydro bearing or hydrodynamic bearing i should say uh, 12 volts 3.96 watts 0.33 amps and it has indicators for flow and direction i don't know why i didn't mark that one and it's clockwise rotating. No screws, but you get four rubber pins instead. And uh, that's all there is to that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.